Alright guys, I'm back with another video on hill climb racing. They just came out with an update for iOS. This update has actually been out for Android for quite a while. And in the update, they added several new features. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold, so I might cough from now. Yeah, I might cough every so often, like now. <coughs> but I'm getting over it. As you can hear, my voice still sounds fine. So, one of the things they added was Dragster which I have another video of, which I just found on my camera, and probably will have uploaded right before this one did. The other thing they added is two new tracks. There's one from this one's actually free, so I definitely recommend picking this one up. And the other one is all the way at the other end. And that is Night. This one you have to pay for. It's darn expensive. It's like 1.2 million, so... Up to you to pick that, if you want to pick that up or not, you can make decent money off it, but Christmas is fun and it's free, so I'm going to show you what the best vehicle is for it. And I'm going to start off with quite a shocker, there are actually two, yes, two vehicles that are great for it. The truck is great, it actually, I was able to get farther with it, but you have to be very patient, just because the way the truck is, it's easy to flip over. So that's one of the vehicles that's great for it. The other one is the super diesel. This one you do not have to be as patient with. So because this is on video, and this one I have a feeling there will be a greater chance of me flipping it over, I'm going to restart the video several times, I am going to go with the Super Diesel. But like I said, the, the one they call just the truck, which honestly I hate that name, because to me it's not fitting, it's not a truck. To me just a general truck would be like a Ford Ranger, a Ford F-150. Yeah, I drive Ford, or I actually don't drive a Ford. My dad has an old 88 F-350 diesel that we use as a work truck. So to me that is a truck. And the one they call the truck in here, in my opinion, should be called a tractor trailer. Even though it doesn't have a trailer, so I see why they didn't use that name. Or... I guess they also couldn't use an 18-wheeler because it doesn't have, because it doesn't have 18 wheels. They, I, you know, they should have called it. They should have called it the big rig. That's what they should have called it. So, Finger Games and the whole hill climb racing team. If you are watching this with video, on your next update, please rename the truck as the big rig because I feel that that is a much more accurate name. Oh, also a little tip. One gas can is actually right below that tree at 780 meters. That's one that's easy to miss if you're as upgraded as I am and can just fly right over it. If you're not as upgraded like I am on my phone, you'll always end up landing on that and getting in that gas can. But it is hidden. So, where was I? Oh, yes. Um, this is not, like I was saying, this is not the only good vehicle for this track. The snowmobile is also good, but its skids easily get caught on these trees, which causes it to flip over, and that's not any fun, because then you end up having to start the whole thing over, or hope and pray that you can catch it so you don't land on your guy's head. But that is also a good vehicle for this, and like I said, so is the truck, which I again think should be called the big rig. But if you are impatient like me, you should... You, in my opinion, should use the Super Diesel, especially if you have that truck fully upgraded. Because fully upgraded, it will go, I think I got it around 4,400 meters. Whereas the truck, which I'm actually going to, from now on in this video, refer to as the Big Rig, because, like I said, that's a much more fitting title. And if I say truck, I'm sure some of you, I know I would, would think that I'm talking about the vehicle that I'm driving right now, which will be called the Super Diesel. So yes, if you use the truck, you can get maybe 800 meters further, something like that. But you have to be very patient and be very careful how you land. Because if you land wrong, if you just catch your back axle or even back axles, you'll end up flipping the front of the truck down because that's the heaviest part by far. And when you do that, you typically end up landing on the nose of the truck and then flipping over and landing on your head. And when you do that, if you want to beat your record, you have to start over again. Also in these tracks, as you may or may not have just seen... The packages you actually can kind of get stuck on. They get caught underneath you. That's another reason why big vehicles like this are good. Because they're not really held back by the packages. They're not really supported by them. Like, it doesn't 
force the frame of your vehicle up in such a way that it stretches out the suspension. I know I'm getting very technical for this just being a video game, but it's actually a rather accurate video game most times. So yes, actually, also at the end of this video, I, yes, it, I did make a gas can, gas fill up, whatever you want to call it, location. I have that as a pages document on my Mac. Sadly, I don't have my Mac sitting in front of me right now. I wish I did so I could know how much farther it was to each gas station, gas can, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to call them gas stations. But yes, I will put that at the end of this video in case any of you guys want to beat my rec or beat your record, beat my record. I really don't care. I'd love to see one of you guys put up a video response showing you beating my record, even if you completely abolish it and get to like 10,000 meters. Oh, hey, there we go. If you look at the uh, the award... Um, shoot, what do you call those things? The trophy, yes. If you look at the trophy in the upper corner right by the 5650 number, that is how far I can get, or how far I have gotten with this vehicle. With the big rig, I have gotten to, I think, 5571 when I originally clicked on this, this stage, this level, this track, whatever you want to call it. That's probably what it said, and that record I did set with the big rig. But with this vehicle, the farthest I've been able to get is 4737. Like I said, you can be a lot more impatient with this vehicle and not end up crashing. So yeah, if, like I said, at the end of this video, I will have a screenshot of the pages document with all the gas locations up to 5750, or whenever the last gas location was before then. Before 5750, that is. So that you guys know if you should try to really bang it out and get to the next gas station, or if you're a really long ways away. Hopefully it'll make it easier for you. Please, please, please make it. Okay, there we go. Another way you can figure out how far it is the next gas station is by remembering what gas, where you were when you picked up your most recent, which in my case was roughly 3,000, and where you were when you picked up the one before it. Typically the distance will, it won't be the same, it'll be a little more. Like in that one, I think I was probably about 600 meters between them. So that means my next fill up should be around 36 or 3,700 meters. Don't, don't quote me on that. We will just have to wait and see and hope that I make it. Yeah, this track really isn't too difficult. It ends up being a lot like the highway and the beach, where it's not a matter of can you get over the hills, it's a matter of can you get to the next gas fill up. So, yikes, nearly died there. See, that's an example of, okay, there's my next gas can, it's at 3,600 like I thought. But yeah, that time when I hit the hill bad and nearly flipped over forward, that's an example of what happens when you're using the big rig. It would have flipped over, it most likely would have killed me. In the game, of course, not in real life. Okay, so that last gas can was at 3,600, and the one before it was at roughly 3,000. So now I'm going to, as soon as I can, get this vehicle really moving so I can make it to my next gas fill up, which will probably be at around 42 or 4,300. Hopefully I make it to there. If not, you guys see how far I got with this truck, the 4737, and that's, I mean, that's as far as I can make it. Or as far as I have made it, I won't say as far as I can make it, but it's as far as I have made it. And I would love to see one of you guys beat that record with this vehicle. If you beat it with the, with the big rig, that's impressive too. That's not an easy feat. But if you beat it with this vehicle, that's even better. Alright, as you see, I ran out of gas, but there you go. 4,083 4, meters. And if I had my cheat sheet here is telling me how long it was between gas fill -ups. I probably could have gone a little farther, but like you see, that's a pretty good distance for this vehicle, and that is one of the better vehicles, in my opinion, for this track. So, peace out. I'll be making a video of the night track. I will probably, well, you'll see what vehicle I use for that one. So, like I said, peace out. See you